Previously on Fix It Friday, Hubby and I went to Tractor Supply and got a stock tank to make a self-watering stock tank garden. So stay tuned to see how that is progressing. If you're new to my channel, my name is Michelle and this is my Everyday Wife Life where every day is a fresh start. Okay, what's going on with the stock tank? This morning, it's Friday, March 1st. Kitties are outside. What's going on? <laughs> what is he doing? Does he have the tubing in there? He does. He has the tubing in there. And, yeah. Let's see how that goes. Some pretty blooms this morning. Hibiscus blooms. All right, let's turn the sprinklers on. Watering the grass. Hubby wants something out of the shed. Gonna do that. And last night, Hubby helped me put some of the saucers underneath. There's one under here. You can't see it. The mulch is covering that up. Not that one. I need a smaller one. That one, that one, and that one. So all these five and that one. And over there, all have saucers, so good. Might still need to buy a couple more. Okay, so he wants landscaping fabric. I could have sworn, oh, we do. I was like, crap, we're gonna go Home Depot again? No, there's the landscaping fabric. I knew we had a roll. Oh, I was looking for something to use around the tree out back. I could use that. That would work temporarily. So hubby informed me that the dump, our dump, is limiting what you can dump there now because it's getting full. So I might not be able to go take the tires down there. So <laughs> procrastination bites me in the butt. Ask me to do stuff what, before I even have any coffee. I need to cut the bag too. So hubby's putting this pipe in so we can fill it up with water when it's needed. This is going to be the reservoir. You said it's too full though. You're going to dump some of that yeah, out? Yeah, it needs to get down to three inches. And then in the middle, he's going to put sand. That, that's your wicking... What is it called? The wick. It'll be the wick. <laughs> so the water can wick up into the dirt. So you're supposed to put sand in the middle. And then we lay the um, landscaping material over the top and then the dirt. So the dirt, it ain't going to come all the way up. I guess we didn't need one this deep, but this is how they come. There, was there a shorter one, babe? It wasn't the same uh, dimensions oh. on the outside. It was rounder. Okay. Okay, so, so the sock for the tubing. This is like a French drain thing. It goes over the top of the tubing so that dirt doesn't get inside. The tubing has holes in it, so water can get in there and flow freely, right? Yeah. And then that's where we'll put the hose to fill it up whenever we need to fill it up. I think they say you only have to water once a week that way. Is that what they were, most of the videos were saying? Yep. Okay. And also, too, we have some extra screen that I put in the shed recently. And if it gets too hot out here, like in the summertime, we can lay the screen on top of here, doubled up, tripled up, whatever, fold it up, drape it even down the back here, put a zip tie on it so it doesn't blow off to shade this because, you know, like they always have shade at uh, Home Depot, any gardens, there's always have shade. And this stuff really grows the best with a little bit of the shade. Florida, you need some kind of shade. Yeah, you do. But right now, we probably don't. 
But come May or June, we're going to need some kind of shade. Put a cap okay. on there. Hubby's draining the water because it's too high. So if you lift that up, the water could be higher or lower, depending on how you lift it. Yeah. What height you lift that up to. So when it rains, it's going to fill up more, and then we won't need as much water, and that will it, it'll drain out. Should see the top of the uh, tube. What top of the tube? The top of this tube. Oh, the. Oh, I see. Once yeah, the it sh shouldn't be floating for sure, right? Yeah, I've tried to squeeze out all the air. The minute you put the uh, rock, sand, dirt, soil, wicking, it all uh, hold it down. So I'm feeling super tired. I never know how I'm going to feel in the morning. So I don't know what all I'm going to be able to get done today. Um... Okay. Happy ones, a pair of scissors. Okay. And I'm supposed to be doing a whole house home reset the next three days. Because it's March 1st. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? I've had plenty of energy lately. And today, I do not. I never know. You wanted a pair of scissors. Where are good scissors out here? Didn't you? I just found a hole in the fence here. Rude. So, <laughs> Hubby's adding some more zip ties to it to fix it. It just wasn't fastened good enough. And in case you didn't see it, if you go to Instagram and perfect fence, P R R R F E N C E, um, account rue is featured in their ad video <laughs> because she was climbing on the fence and uh she didn't go over the fence because they work they can't climb over it because it snaps down and they fall and yeah now i gotta get some more zip ties a plethora of zip ties let's see if he wants some more I'm gonna hang the bird feeder up and get some bird seed. And uh, where is the bird seed? I think it's on the pool patio. It should go in the shed. Woo. I found another hole. Our escape cat. You want another one? All right. You say an overkill? You never know. Rue's terrible. She finds spots to crawl through for sure you want to put some in your pocket put some in your pocket okay all right okay bird feeders up now i need to go get some bird seed off the patio why are you putting those there yes storage i'm gonna back by over by the shed be quiet here we're gonna end up with another one of these because we won't have enough room to Oh, so. you don't think? Nope. I think we could get like 15 plants in there though. Depends on the plant. They, vegetables don't need much root room. I know. Anyway, but we're gonna, you know, put or another one we here. Like we'll that. get this done and then if that works out, we'll get the other one, right? Yeah. In a couple weeks or something. You list the equipment off. On one of your videos of everything we use. Yeah. Okay. Duly noted. <laughs> I also have a little thing like this. I don't know what to do with this. Somehow I want to put this. It's All right. Bird feeder is filled. So the birds will come in here and tease the cats. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm sure they're going to try to count the fence. But they won't be able to. Birds have come in the catio. I swear teasing them. They have like little finches or something. One day we're like diving into the catio and diving back to the tree. I'm like, are you freaking teasing the cats or what? It was weird. I'm getting my steps. 
I was trying to help me out with filming. I'm like, you gotta film if I'm not out there or something. He says, you wanna take some B-roll? I'm like, you don't even know what B-roll is. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not, when I'm showing you doing something, that's not B-roll. <laughs> what a dork. Actually, I, I think he's just trying to be funny. He might know what I'm talking about, but. <laughs> Ziki, what are you doing? Catching bugs? Oh, yeah. He just got one. He's chewing on it. <laughs> All right, going to put the bird seed in the shed. The furthest away from the bird feeder. I don't know. If I find another solution, I will. But I don't want it on the patio. I have to clean the patio. I don't want that on the pool patio. I have to declutter and clean up the pool patio. That's really what, that's what I want to do today. Maybe I'll make that part of this video since it's sort of kind of outside. I think so. Because I usually do include that on my Fix It Friday videos all the pool stuff. If you're new here and you haven't seen the construction of the pool, that just got completed in June of last year. If you want to see all that, I will link it down below. I'm going to move the sprinkler. All right, I have that barrel. It's plastic, but it holds up in the Florida sun. And then this one, I think I'll put those out front for my herb garden. I'll be fixing to put the plastic, the landscape fabric, in there Cut a hole in here for the pipe, maybe? Uh, or not. Hmm. It's got sand. Don't mind me, I'm a hot mess. Count how many times I say that in the video. I didn't even brush my hair. I was on the couch. I got up early and I fell back asleep on the couch. Okay, I'm watching YouTube. Anyway, um, I'm staff, Shirley. Yeah, but two of them are on the table I'm using. Okay. I'm getting ready to dump this entire thing in there. Okay. But then you just lay the, the garden soil on top of that? Yep. Okay. So the sand goes in, be in between all the cracks so it can wick up the water. That's what they tell us. That's what they tell us. I didn't even ask my sister how she did hers. But we're watched. I will put a link to all the videos. Well, the ones that we really liked. 15 of the damn things. Uh, and maybe the three best ones I think we should put a link down below. So yeah. people, Paige, you might be, Paige, you might be interested in that. So she did just. Paige did just do on her channel, she built her own raised garden beds, but it, it didn't have a bottom in it. It wasn't like this. It was just a regular 
got in bed today. She also lives in Florida. Does she? Sometimes she lives in Florida, sometimes she does not. I can't keep track. Where are you, Paige? So I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'll try to explain. Maybe hubby can intervene. So basically, um, you lay the sand you know, in between the all the cracks. Out. Yeah, you can see the water. The sand's getting wet. Um, and then it wicks up through the dirt. You can't just lay your dirt. Why can't you, though? Why can't you just lay your dirt on top of there? The what the the water the some dirt is wicking. Some people do. Okay, but they suggested it's dirt. Plus, the, the you know, well, the, here's the other thing: you're not gonna want to put all that dirt in there. That's a waste of dirt. You just put enough in there to put the plants in there. So obviously, we've already learned here. This didn't need to be that deep. <laughs> Unless we got bigger tubing or something so that it had a bigger reservoir in the bottom. It's leaking out. I guess because the sand raised the water level, so yeah. Probably went to get some more dirt. More water's coming out because they're putting more sand in there. delete this if we decide not to do it but all right so we decided to put, after the fact we decided to put uh some center blocks in there and then put the tubing on top of it to raise it up because otherwise that's gonna be a crap ton of dirt we're gonna put in there yeah. and i mean it's all right to be a little lower than the top but so we're having to finagle we gonna put we got tons tons of cinder blocks. We're gonna just lay them across, and then the tubing on top of that. Yeah. It looks like a single cat. That's gonna fall right off. It looks like a single cat. One cat part of the cat going in, the other part. Yeah. <laughs> Hubby's got more cinder blocks. I put this on here, but I gotta figure it out. Cause there's no point in having this if it doesn't protect the anyway protect the swing most of the time it's on the ground there it goes because the wind just took it ah. <laughs> i'll fix it later hindsight is 2020 <laughs> so we're having to pull back the tarp now with all the dirt in it to finagle the Center blocks in there. You're trying to use little as center blocks as possible. No, I gotta be careful of the uplift or the uh, the drain. Oh, it's gotta come like that. Doesn't it need to be on top of the cinder blocks? Yes, except I can't with the drain. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. okay. Come down. Hold this side. Okay, that side's done. Now we gotta gotta pull it over to the other side. Okay, this makes it so that it has a deeper reservoir uh, and we can water it less. So now we gotta put more water in there, right? Yeah. Now the tubing is laying on top of the cinder blocks. And we gotta put the tarp back with the dirt and spread it all out again. I might just fill it up with water. Cause that's what you would do if it was low, right? Yeah. Okay. The height is wrong. I would have to readjust the height. Okay. Okay, filling it up now. And then he has to raise that up to make the reservoir deeper. That's good. That's gonna be good, babe. Yeah. I feel like you need more dirt. Yeah, a little bit. Not much. Okay, hubby's getting one more thing of dirt because you can see the tubing is showing. So you want the tubing to be totally covered. Then you don't have to leave the... We don't leave the tarp like that, right? You cut it back? Yeah, we can cut it back. 
I want to cover, I want it up to, you know, some level of the actual soil. But. Yeah, okay. So we put the soil in, then cut it back. Yeah. Okay. It's draining. Okay, he's adjusting the height of the water. There's too much water. You want the dirt to be wet, but not sopping wet right there, right? Well, yeah, the tube's supposed to have an inch of uh, air space. Oh, okay. I overfilled it on purpose. That way I can take it down and get exactly yeah. what Yeah, and we didn't buy any plants. We just, we did buy some garden dirt, though, organic uh, to mix with some other stuff. And, uh, yeah. We'll buy the plants maybe later today or tomorrow. Yeah. And the water's still draining. The water's still draining. So that's that's the height of the water. Right there. Whatever that level is. So you can lower it and raise it however much you want. Right there. Push the uh, bricks in. What do you mean? So they touch the... Uh, yeah. I can't get in there. Alright, so we got some topsoil, some cow manure Hold compost. That. Hold this. There. And then Good, some you. organic potting mix that we're going to put on top. We're going to do topsoil and mix it with some cow manure on the bottom. Maybe I should go get some gloves. No? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> we use that whole bag. And we got to mix it in. Mix it together and then put the organic stuff on top. What are you doing? You need another bag of the tops, you yeah. think? Okay. So that's three bags? Three bags so far. Topsoil. See, it has some mulch in it. Yeah. And dirt. I've been here to check on hobbies and pics. I haven't seen them in a while. And it's getting warm. We might need to turn the air on. But for right now, I'm going to turn all the fans on. We need to get a new fan. This is how we find cats. They love, love these things. They do not like any other treats. They love these ones. They turn their nose at the other ones. They come running from far away when you give them this. You guys already had treats. Hobby and Pixel were upstairs. Both of them. Go figure. So it says it's 75 out here. Um, okay. We got all the dirt. Just need to cut the tarp and go buy some plants. How many are you thinking? Thinking one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14, maybe 15, 15 plants I think could fit there, depending on what we buy. Okay, on to something else. So, I want to plant these, and I need to move the sprinkler. So, these two are going right here, and... I'm going to take that out and put it somewhere. I don't know where. Maybe on the back side. Because they didn't have any acelium at Home Depot. So maybe I'll try. It'd probably do better in the shade. Put it right there. Even though I'd rather have the acelium there. Yeah. Let me go get my gloves. And there's two barrels that I have out front there. Kind of worn, but so are all those other things. So maybe I'll put them two there and put some herbs in them. At least one. The other one will have a hole in it, but hubby can drill one. So I might be done for today. And I watered the little pots that I propagated the rose, desert rose in. You didn't see that video? Go watch it. This will. Uh, I think this is going to be the fourth or fifth video. I'm doing a lot of your work, but I'm pretty tired. I got to go in, have some coffee, take a rest, and s decide what else I want to do. You're filthy. Going back to system engineering. <laughs> you 
Oh, you filthy animal. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn the water off for today. Let me put my gloves away before I forget. Um, I'll be making something here. Don't know, I think it's for his office upstairs. His man cave. <sighs> something out of wood. Uh, yeah, I water again. I really shouldn't be watering this late in the day anyway. So I'm gonna turn this off, water later or tomorrow. What are you up to? Bamboo? Bamboo. You're getting really dirty. <laughs> I'm going to bring one lavender inside and see how that will work in the hanging plants. It's not garden, though. Maybe you'll see that in another video. Okay, guys. So, next day, I'm headed to... I didn't get a chance to go to Home Depot to get plants after I went to the chiropractor, I went over my sister's, we had to deal with some uh, stuff. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Um, so, um, I'm going to go get plants. So, I am going to put my seatbelt on. I know sometimes in the video you can hear the, um, the little thing, ding dong go off. But, I'm at the stop sign at the end of my street. I always, I don't know why I do this. But, I always put my seatbelt on after that. I don't do it when I get in the car. I don't know why I do that. But, I do put my seatbelt on. So, going to Home Depot to get plants for the stock garden. Oh, I picked the wrong day to go to Home Depot. Oh, I forgot it was Saturday. I've been forgetting my days since hubby's been retired. Anyway, they have a sea of mulch. Oh my God. You see all these pallets? And then all the way in the back, pallets of mulch. I bet you it goes all the way around. And they didn't have the mulch I wanted the other day when I was here with my son. Uh, I'm wondering if they have it on one of these pallets. I like the pine bark nuggets. I don't, I don't, I don't see them. Hmm. I gotta clean. I gotta clean this truck. That stuff needs to go back to Publix. I think I need some kind of low-profile bin so I can put plants in here. I'm not gonna be able to. I don't even know if I can lift that. So I'm gonna put these in here. I'll put the topsoil on the back. All right. Next year, I'm gonna start from the seed. It's just a little kind of late in the year, although my sister said it wasn't, but I feel like it is for Florida. And then I got some salvia to put in the front with the Mexican bluebells. And of course, hubby texted me and he said, I need some drill bits. <laughs> like now you tell me that I had the cart full of stuff. Now I gotta go back in. And I saw some plants that we might want to get, but, um, uh, I'll take hubby back with me. I have to go by my rule. Only little bits. Let me get this stuff in the ground before buying anything else. I gotta take that back to Walmart. Will I do it now? I don't know. I don't feel like it. <laughs> and we still haven't made a decision on the handles for the the doors on the bookcases. I don't know, you guys, what do you think about this? I was wanting something a little more ornate. I've looked on Amazon. They are cheaper, but you have to buy them sets of like 10. Uh, yeah, I'm not finding anything that I like. I'll take a picture of that and see if hubby likes that. I don't know. It's kind of plain. Okay, yeah. It's, it's nutty. It is nutty. I'm going to Walmart to get creamer. That's it. I'm just going to run in and get that. I'm crazy for doing that on Saturday, but that's the cheapest place to get creamer. So, I did that the other day and just got, um, I'm just in the parking lot. It's okay. Um, yeah. Um, and I just got Gatorade, paper plates, 
and something else just real quick I guess I'm going to Walmart I guess I should find that receipt for the for the battery because we had to change the battery out but we couldn't return the core until we put the other one in anyway um, so I got to do that now because I often procrastinate about that and um, I had to return some batteries when I cleaned out the garage one time that never got returned so I didn't get any money back on that because they don't do that unless you have the receipt okay I'm going to hitch I took a little break I'm going to put the stuff in the where's my tripod I don't even know where my tripod is so I'm probably making y'all dizzy here <laughs> as well as myself I keep trying to throw these away and how we keep saving them to I don't know he had wood on it resting so it's all oh. <laughs> they're going in the trash this week and I'm trusting all right let's get the plants out of the truck they've been in there for a little bit and it's hot we have the ac running it's 80 something today it is supposed to rain i got a new plant i got a new hanging plant i'm gonna put the other one somewhere else and i'm gonna put you down and put this off in the in the um cart oh i got another did i did I say that right? I got another one of those lanterns. They had that at Home Depot. So now I have a match set so I can hang them from the hooks on the pool patio, which you probably already saw the time you see this video. Because I'm several videos behind on, behind or ahead, however you want to look at it for um, Fix It Friday, because I filmed so much because I'm doing so much. But, although, I should do the pool patio let's fix it Friday. Maybe. <laughs> no, that's right. I was going to film it for a Sunday cleaning video because I don't have anything for cleaning this week. So I'm trying to do cleaning videos on Sunday. Go, trying to get back to that. And um, Tuesday is Tiny Tiny Tuesday, which is mostly decluttering and some cleaning. And Jujing sometimes and then Friday fix it Friday and sometimes I throw in a video in case you're new here and wondering what my schedule is like yeah I don't have a schedule <laughs> I kind of sort of have a schedule depends what kind of mood I'm in all right all right I'm just um, I don't know what to do with the lantern for now. I'm just going to put it here because it has hubby's drill bits in, in there that he needed. So, yeah. All right, let's distribute these plants. Uh, I talked about this. I don't know, he's not super keen on this idea, but I want to put a hanging plant there and hanging plant there. I have to find some. I can't find them all. Home Depot anymore. They used to have them. Um, I don't need to drag that all the way over there. So, the one, this thing over here is looking a little sad. And I didn't water plants today because it is supposed to rain uh, tonight and through, like at 3 a.m., through the next day. All on and off. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. For right now, I'm gonna hang this one up there. It is a per per slain. It was $16.98. Anyway, so the hanging plant does need water every day, though. I was gonna just leave it there, but I'll forget about it, so I don't know. I'll figure out where I'm going to put that. Maybe, hmm. Maybe I'll just hang it up here for, for now until I figure out where it goes. Don't want to do that though, because then that's, I don't know. Okay, it's just going to go there for now. So it's up off the ground. 
Uh, cause that's gonna weigh on the branches too much. Clip this thing. Branch, well, it's just snap right off. Yep, it does. Snap <laughs> right off. That branch is dead. Okay, I did put two of the lavenders in the breakfast nook. The other two are going in my craft room at, on the hanging planter. Uh, yeah. Ziki! If I can go in here without him trying to escape. They don't usually. And there's Hobby in his favorite spot, spot in the apartment. Hobby made that up. I have another um, shelf I could put on the bottom and a cushion. And I'm going to get that once Hobby leaves and put that on the bottom so the cats can lay on the bottom part too. The top part has that, it's an umbrella cover. So that it had, they have more shade over here. And the guys still have not gotten... I should be quiet, right? Uh, there's lots of stuff I haven't gotten to, too. But I have not gotten to putting up the cat climbing stuff. And we need to get some shade. It's starting to get hot out here. See, they ain't even out here much. Because it's hot. And I had this on here. I had... Oh, I forgot to put those two out front. Cause those are going in with the Mexican blue belts. The swing, which is useless. I don't know what I was thinking, buying that. Was hoping to protect the swing, but then you have to take the cover off every day, yada, yada, yada. I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna lay out uh, the plants. I don't have my tripod. Well, can I fit this in here? No. I'm just gonna have to show you before and after because apparently I'm lazy. Okay. I think I got this out, planned out. So these are husky cherry red tomatoes. These are Juliet Roma tomatoes. I heard that the big beefsteak tomatoes are not good in Florida at this time of year anyway. I don't think they're good at all. It's better for you to get the smaller ones. This is a grape tomato. So those are tomatoes. Four tomato plants. And this is orange bell pepper. Um, sweet red pepper. Green pepper. Yellow pepper. Green pepper. Let's put the greens. Not that it matters. In the middle. This is another... Did I get three green peppers? We eat a lot of green peppers. All right. And then this is jalapeno. Jalapeno, onions, and cauliflower. They didn't have any broccoli. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these in the ground. And then the salvia is going in the front. And then these are herbs. Rosemary, thyme, basil, oregano, I think is what I got. Okay. So I have a bunch of onions left. So, I might have to rethink this. So, I might use that container and put the cauliflower in there. I think that's going to get too big. It needs its own thing. So, we'll try putting that in there. It's not going to have a reservoir, though. We'll see what happens. But I wanted to get these plants in the ground before they dried out. So, I'm imagining the cauliflower is going to get big. And then these are the onions. It said to put them... No more than one inch and four at least four inches apart from each other so i put them sporadically in between the plants i think there's enough room for between everything my sister said you could plant things closer than you think uh the cauliflower is going to go big i don't know what i was thinking i think it's going to have to go in that in that barrel oh you know what there's not a hole in that barrel maybe hubby can makeshift that into a container thing just like this yeah 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 that's what I'll do and then I'll then I'll um I'll put the cauliflower in there this is all the onions that are left if I take the cauliflower out I could put the onions in there and I need to put all these herbs in the thing up front I'm gonna water everything in real quick and talk to hubby about making a container uh, garden out of that self-watering container 
thing of that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I watered all these plants. So I'm just for a little bit. And uh, I remembered this barrel is for the cats, for cat water. They like drinking out of that. But we had to dump it and rinse it out because it was getting green in there because it hadn't rained in so long. So it's got fresh water in there, fresh well water. I don't know what to do with these. I don't know. I can't sit on the ground because I'm afraid like snakes will try to get under it. Stuff like that. Uh, let me see if I can finagle something. All right, so I strapped that up. Uh, there's a Velcro right there and on the other side. So I got it. So it's shading this a little bit more. But that's only afternoon sun, not morning. But I don't know. Plus, it's, now it's up off the ground. Okay. So plan B for... The cauliflower. I'm gonna have to go get another pot for it so we can do a mini stock tank or whatever. Self watering planter. There's Rue. She likes being outside the most. Well, and hobbies. I scared him away when I watered the plants. He's so skittish. Only inside. Hi, Rue. Wanna come up here? I don't know that I'm going to do anything with the herbs right now or the salvia. Um, I watered them. They'll be alright right there. Till the morning. Hubby wants me to... It's going to rain tonight, so he wants me to sweep the patio and stuff. I might film it for another video and you might have already seen that. So... Well, I hope I'm not confusing you. I'm confusing me. <laughs> I can't seem to have a good schedule of... Like film, edit, post right away. It's, yeah. What are you gonna do? And the cats are very curious about this tarp that I put back up. They're like, what's going on? And I just had a thought and I texted hubby. I'm like, why don't we get some pavers? They like to sit under the swing, but they also like to sit on the pavers. They don't wanna be on the grass. So I'm gonna put some pavers under the swing so, you know, they like to lay on the concrete to cool off. So maybe we'll stick a couple under there. What are you doing, Rue? You're gonna knock the you're gonna knock the thing down. Just pulling it down somehow. Ah. There's hobbies. Can you see them? They like laying under the stock tank. In between the cinder blocks because it's nice and cool. I'm sure they got fur pants, as Hubby said. I'm sure they're much hotter than I am, and I'm hot right now. Okay, I was doing a home reset today. But I did come out here and finish up the planting. Decided to put these two barrels out here. So I took the cauliflower out of there, like I said. And I had this barrel already. So it's not the water reservoir self-watering thing it's just dirt so because that's what i had on hand and, and i didn't feel like doing a whole nother tank and then i decided to just go ahead and put the the herbs out here too same thing dirt um and ziki was laying in the garden <laughs> so hubby might have to take some of the catio fencing and by the way if if you this is plastic it's really tough plastic down the bottom that's wire and it's laying on the ground too and staked in so they can't crawl under it anyway the reason i'm saying that is because we have a whole bunch of this extra stuff so i'm thinking he could attach it here with zip tie bring it over this way attach it over here with just something to tie it off so we can open it when we need to go in there to keep the cats at it there. I don't want them to pee in there, but they weren't that I know of. They weren't. But Ziggy was just laying in there too, and I'll insert a picture. Anyway, so uh, if I can find broccoli, I'll get another barrel and put that in, 
in here too. So, cause we eat a lot of cauliflower and broccoli, peppers, tomatoes, not so much, but I, cause they don't taste that great from the store. Uh, fresh tomatoes are the best. So I will eat them if they are fresh. They just don't. Cause to put them in the refrigerator, so they'll stay, keep better. Cause they don't last very long on the counter. And then they don't taste great in the refrigerator. It ruins the flavor. So I will just love to pick them and eat them right away. That will be awesome. Anyway, it's getting dark. It never rained. It never rained yesterday or today. No, today. It was supposed to rain today. Well, it was supposed to rain yesterday and then it never did. It didn't rain today. I think tonight is supposed to rain. And I still have a ton of onions left. What am I supposed to do with them? Get another barrel? Maybe. I might. All right. I'm going in and uh, do nothing. <laughs> All right. um, it is March 16th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And this is a current day update. <clears throat> that I wanted to show you the cats for one like hiding under uh the stock tank Zeke's way under there that's Rue it's nice and cool under there hi 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 my baby hi and then Zeke's under there can you see him anyway they're doing great I do have some more onions to plant so I have another one of those barrels and I'm going to put some dirt in it and plant some onions. So they have grown so much. Um, yeah. They're doing great. This is week three. I think it's the third week. And they have doubled at least in size, if not tripled. So, and these are all different kinds of tomatoes. So they're looking really, really good. Green peppers are looking good. Oh, when I see a little flower seeing some flowers but nothing or is that going to be a pepper i don't know we shall see and the herbs are doing really well they're doing good everything's looking good so uh i don't know if i'll get to planting the onions before I'm posting this video i just wanted to show you how well they're doing again i think i might need to get some screening and we're gonna drape it on the outside of this so that it uh, gets a little bit of shade I think fi it's fine now but come April or May might need a little bit and I couldn't find any broccoli at the store I wanted to buy some broccoli this is cauliflower I haven't found it so yeah maybe next year I'll do seed all right so that's what's going on here now, when I do another update, I don't rightly remember. If I do another update, it might be confused a little bit because this is current date, just so I can show you the stock tank garden. And there are some other things that we've been doing, like finishing the trim on the house and stuff that was like a week or so ago. So, but this is definitely current day. So I wanted to show you what the stock tank was. It's working out good. It's working out really good. So I put a link down below in the description of our favorite stock tank um, video. There's tons of them. Self-watering garden, self-watering containers. There's different ways of doing it. Look it up. Just put that in the search on YouTube and look it up. But our favorite one is down in the description below if you want to check that out on how to do that for where you are if it's not too late. It's, our, it's, you know, getting late here in Florida. We should have started this earlier in early February, but we're just going with it. All right, guys. Until next time, enjoy your day. And Mr. Pixel is enjoying himself under the swing. If you're new to my channel, click my face right there and subscribe so you do not miss another Fix It Friday video so you can get an update on the catio or the garden or things that are happening around the house that we are fixing and building. So until next time, guys, enjoy your day.